right, welcome back. We are now on chapter 13. This is quiz on chapter 13. Moving right along here, and we're really entering a kind of new part of the course in which we're going to be looking at the production side of both cost, and then we're going to move into markets. And to understand markets and competition, we need to understand how firms come to some sense of what it costs them to produce something. So, today's quiz is going to focus on two aspects. One is simply almost just algebraic determination of cost. So you get the difference between variable cost and fixed cost and total cost and marginal cost. And then we're going to move into this concept of economic profit versus accounting profits and how the two disciplines view the, that concept, that analytical construct differently. So, let's start with the easier part of it. Let's start with the kind of mechanical costs. And I, up here I have the table which is uh, table 13.9 in your quiz. And we're going to go, I think the first six questions are going to come from this. So let's start off right now. It says the average fixed cost of producing five posters. Now, I think I told you in lecture, the first thing you should do when you come in to take the quiz or the test or something like that that's graded is you write this thing down. You write that total cost is equal to variable cost plus fixed cost. If you divide both sides by Q, then you get that average total cost is equal to distributed average variable cost plus average fixed cost, okay? And we know that fixed costs don't vary, all right? So, well, I can stop right there, but if you just, just with this little piece of information right here, we're gonna be able to answer almost all the questions in these set of problems here. So, let's start off. Average fixed cost of producing five posters. So here's our quantity, here are our variable cost, here are the total cost, here are the fixed costs, all right? So they want the average fixed cost of five posters. So you've got five posters, you go to your fixed cost, and you go, hmm, question mark, we don't even know what the average, we don't even know what the fixed costs are at five units, but we should know, right? Because the fixed costs, by definition, don't change with output. The more you produce, your fixed costs are the same. What are fixed costs? You run a small car service business. It's your insurance. You uh, are a landlord. It's the um, utility bill, for example. I guess that would be a great one, but the insurance on that as well. Anything that is a cost you have to pay, regardless of how much you produce or sell, is a fixed cost, okay? So if I'm an airline, take JetBlue, they have to rent terminal space, for example, at JFK. Well, that is a fixed amount of money they pay. Actually, the salaries they pay to their pilots are a fixed cost because they are locked into that salary. Whether the plane flies or not, or whether the pilot goes up or not, they have to pay that salary. So those are examples of fixed costs. Fixed costs don't vary with output. So now we know that the fixed costs are $10 when you produce nothing, and they're $10 when you produce six units. The fixed costs are $10 when you produce five units. Average fixed cost, then, is simply fixed cost divided by Q, which is going to be 10 divided by 5, which is going to be $2, okay? So your first answer, I think, pretty straightforwardly, is $2, the answer is B. Next one. The average variable cost of producing four posters. So we go to output of four posters. We go over to variable cost right here at $10. So, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. So, so we take the $10 in total variable cost, divide by the four units of output, and that's going to give us an average variable cost of $2.50. Okay? Again, 10 divided by 4, 250. So the answer to the second one is obviously B. Three, the total cost of producing one poster. One poster, variable cost of one, total cost question mark, fixed cost question mark. But we know fixed costs are $10, and we know the total cost is variable cost plus fixed cost. Therefore, the total cost of producing one poster is the $1 plus the $10 fixed, or $11. And clearly you can see that is answer number C, $11. Number four, interesting now, the marginal cost of producing the sixth poster. And the marginal cost, and we're going to do it like this, MC, is equal to the change in total cost given a change in Q. In other words, how much do your cost change when your output changes? In this case, by one. So it says here, the marginal cost of the sixth poster. 
So when you go from five posters to six posters, total cost goes from 25 to what? Okay. Well, you know the variable cost is 21. You know the fixed cost are 10. So you know that has to be 31 dollars. All right. So now the change in total cost is equal to 31 minus 25 over six units minus five units. Right. So that's equal to six dollars right here. And 6 minus 5 is obviously 1, so the marginal cost is $6 of the 6th poster. In other words, how much extra cost is it to produce a 6th poster? In this case, it was $6. All right. So, we've done the 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4 relatively quickly. And I think the last one, number 5, will be equally straightforward. It says, what is the variable cost of producing 0 posters? Variable cost of zero posters. Well, by definition, if you don't produce anything, you have no variable cost, right? Fixed costs are the cost you occur when you don't produce anything. Variable costs are only costs that, that vary with production. Your labor or your materials or if you're at McDonald's, it's how many workers you have to hire and how many hamburgers you have to produce. That's going to vary with your sales, okay? The fixed cost at a McDonald's, which is the equipment you purchased, or the rent that you pay, or the insurance that you have on your employees, that's fixed. No matter how many people you have, let's say, or how many people work that day, those costs don't change, but the variable costs change with how much you produce. Okay? So, this is actually a trick question. The variable cost when you produce zero posters is zero. There are no variable costs. All right? So that answer is A.